Welcome back Trimmers. So it's all up on the wall, really, really easy to do. So just taking the old mounting bracket off for the other five kilowatt unit, put this unit straight up on the wall onto a new mounting bracket, and then just plug the plugs in. It uses exactly the same MC4 connectors. If you watch the last video on this unit, you'll see an up close video, uh, up close on all the bottom connections and bits and pieces. But pretty much MC4 connectors on this side, and uh, the SolarX AC plug in the bottom here, uses exactly the same one. So it was pretty much just unplug the old one, plug in the new one. It was really that simple. I had to move these two, um, this is my solar DC disconnect and this is my AC disconnect. So I had to move these slightly up the wall to be able to crank some more cable length because it is slightly wider and these solar connectors are further on this side. So I had to kind of create some space with the cables without having to re-cable everything. So that was easy to do, just put the unit higher up on the wall, move these up and further out and away it goes. So right now it's running in grid time mode. It's pretty much running exactly the same as the other unit. So the solar panels come in and two different strings, two strings of 10 panels, total of 20 panels. So 10 panels come into the first MPP um, connection, runs at about 300 volts or thereabouts, and then the second string runs at 300 volts or thereabouts and then comes in. So it's got two MPP channels. That's really, really efficient or, and really effective, if you, especially if you've got different angles of the house. If you put panels on one angle, then put panels on the other angle. Or if you, even if you put panels on the same angle, it's going to be slightly different. So by having more channels, it can figure out the, um, the, or the, the correct MPP rather than just having everything on one big string. So having more channels is a little bit better um, and it's especially better, obviously, if you working with different angles. So yeah, this unit's got obviously all that, exactly the same as actually the other unit, but obviously being the hybrid version. Now I haven't connected up the batteries just yet, and this is the cable that I've got to connect up. I am gonna have to um, play around with the batteries and we'll come to that in another video. But what I just thought I'd do is I'll just show you, this is the, the um, Anderson connector that comes with this unit. This is a normal Anderson connector that comes with a UPS battery. As you can see, they are quite different and one is massive compared to the other one. So I'm not too sure exactly which model this is, it doesn't exactly say of um, Anderson connector but it is um, a lot bigger than the normal Anderson connectors. I've never seen this one this big so it's quite good. Um, so either way this plugs in down on the side on this side and I'm going to somehow, somehow have to run the cables down here. That's okay, we'll come to that in another video. I just thought I'd show you this up and running and um, and what I'll do next is I'll just show you underneath, have a quick look at that. I'll show you a couple of things on the screen and um, we'll go from there. So let's start with that. So obviously this is what they're all plugged in. We've got the solar connections coming in on here, the two, um, two strings. We've got the AC cable here, which just goes down to our AC disconnect, which is here nicely labeled, of course. This obviously comes, the solar goes through our PV or our DC disconnect, so I can switch off the solar panels on the roof. So that's really handy as well. We've got our antenna, we've got our CT clamp which is clamped in, uh, which is plugged into here and then we've got our battery terminal which is here. Again nothing's plugged in just yet. So it's just running in grid time mode and it's um, it's happily doing that. So on the screen here if I just, it's got a nice little backlight on it as you'd expect. So if I zoom in on that we're making uh, 4.25 kilowatts right now. Today we've made 17 so yeah not a bad day so far. If I go into the menu, you'll see, if I go into solar, you'll see we're sitting at about 260 volts on um, one string, 8.3 amps. If we go down to our, well that's 2200 watts, we'll go down to our second string, 260 volts roughly. The light's actually changing outside a little bit, um, but 8.4 amps, which is, um, yeah, it's always changing obviously, 2000. 200 watts and um, yeah you can kind of cycle through each of the strings which is really handy you could actually do this on the old unit as well but this unit has obviously a lot more to do with the charger it's got the built-in charger 50 amps the EPS which is the offline mode and so you've got a whole bunch of different options well this is just the status menu but you can kind of see what everything's doing right now 242 volts and 8.1 amps just drop down and um, solar we'll just have a big cloud go over so yeah it's really really nice little screen compared to the other one definitely a bit of an upgrade but um, yeah it's all up and running and I'm really happy with that obviously the next thing is to sort out the batteries and get those all connected 
but we'll come to that in the next video. So yeah, thanks guys for watching, and um, thanks again to SolarX, um, and yeah, really happy. Thanks guys.